Last year, the city of Longview was awarded a cultural arts district designation by the state of Texas. My co-anchor Channing Curtis checked in to see what their plans are now that some new grant funding is heading their way. Most applicants don't get chosen the first time that they apply, but we did. So we were very, very excited. It took a dedicated group of about 30 people to work on the application, but Longview is now a designated cultural arts district in the state of Texas. A lot of it is about um, tourism and, and letting people outside our community know what we've got going on as far as cultural opportunities here in our community. But it's also an opportunity for us to let people who know here, who live here, know what's going on. Recently, the district received a grant of about $200,000 that will be split between four different organizations, the Longview Symphony, Fine Arts Museum, Arts View Children's Theater, and Arts Longview. There will be colorful banners on all the streetlight poles. There will be um, art wraps on all of the um, traffic utility boxes in the in the region. One thing that we're really excited about is some entryway monuments that we'll be designing um, at some of the key entrances into the cultural district so that you really know you're there. Whether it's day or night, you're gonna know you're going into a special district in our region. Arts Longview received a $70,000 matching grant. The Children's Theater received just over 16,000, the Symphony received 20, and the Fine Arts Museum got 95 to upgrade the facility. Our goal really is to spark a love of the arts and history and just the culture of Longview inside with the people who live here and work here and play here, but then outside too, bring people in from other places to see what we've got available here in Longview. We've got you covered Longview. Channing Curtis, CBS 19.